today. From Nissan Stadium in Nashville, Tennessee. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. It's the Tennessee Titans taking on the Indianapolis Colts. By many accounts, one of the most underrated home venues in all of the NFL resides in the heart of Nashville, Tennessee, and that's where we find ourselves at Nissan Stadium. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. former Utah Ute Matt Gay to get this one started. And off we go from Nashville. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. So here are the Titans ready to go on offense for the first time, and it's Will Levis, the 25-year-old at quarterback in his second season out of Kentucky. And last year's rookie year, a bit of a mixed bag for the young signal caller out of Kentucky. Showed off plenty of tools, but was hurt in the preseason, and it took a little while to get going. But once he did, he showed exactly why the Titans wanted him. Toughness, leadership, and a big arm. The team rallied around him down the stretch. The first carry now for Tony Pollard. And that is the kind of tackling they want to see all game as he'll lose yardage to start things out. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play, second down. Well, that was not what you would call straight line pursuit for a middle linebacker to make this play. He's got to work his way through the clutter to get to the ball carrier on the outside, and he does exactly that. That's called avoiding the trash. of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Going to run again here with Pollard. And he's going to get back to the original line of scrimmage, but that's about it. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. So now an early third and 10 here on their opening drive. Here's Levis. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a play that may get lost in the grand scheme of things, but one thing's for sure. You certainly don't want to go three and out to start the game. So that's a nice job of finding the right play call and coming up with a first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Let's go defense. Let's go defense. They toss it down to Pollard. And he is going to lose yardage here. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge.
After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. Pollard will take it up the gut. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. You've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. Third and five. Levis sets up to throw here. Ah, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. On uh, fourth down, Ryan Stonehouse on to punt. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? Yeah, he said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. First down, Richardson. This one completes Alec Pierce. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And Taylor going to pick up the Colts first down as he's going to get this up to the 20-yard line. A vintage run there because when the chains move with him, they move quickly. No secret that Taylor's one of the most electric playmakers in the league whenever he's on the field. Always a threat to go the distance. Back to Taylor on first down. Able to power through. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They did a really nice job there defensively. They strung the play out, didn't give them a cutback lane. On each play, you have guys what I call our BCR players. Guys are responsible for the bootleg, for the cutback, and for the reverse. They played that one perfectly. And rode him right out of bounds. Second down, here's Richardson. He's got his man, it's Pierce. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. That's good for a first down, his second catch of the opening drive. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now Richardson over the middle, and it's incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Here's second and 10. Richardson out of the shotgun. The short throw pulled in by Woods. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Another good reception there. The Colts on the march. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? 
force a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Like yeah, that? Well, yeah, moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on their heels a little bit. You put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right, that's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, do I have that dagger play? Do I have that play and just finish him off right now? Because I think they'd love to get that big advantage early. Kenneth Murray, the linebacker, there to make the play defensively. You know, it's not just all athleticism from defensive linemen. Let's give them a little credit for their football intelligence as well. Read and react by them, understood the play call, and stacked it up and stuffed the run. They run once more with Taylor, and they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Colts in possession as they've got it with a third down coming up. They'll come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. On third down, here's Richardson. A short throw, this is caught by Cox. Well, this is gonna depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. That's good, the completion there for seven yards. And it'll be fourth down. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. Out is Rigoberto Sanchez on fourth down to punt this thing. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions last time out. They had to punt it away, this time hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. That was well coached and even better executed because you saw him looking for the cutback lane, never materialized, and it had excellent pursuit to stack that play up. Second and eight coming from the 19. They'll run left with Pollard. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. We often give credit to the O-line. They're two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Ten more there and another first down. Sharp run there by Pollard, and that's something Titans fans are expecting to see a lot of as the season unfolds. The Memphis native back in his home state eclipsed a thousand yard mark in each of his last two seasons with Dallas and Tennessee. They're hoping he makes it three straight by the year's end. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. So after some runs, now they'll throw with Levis. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. 
Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Off the play fake, Levis. And that one caught downfield by Boyd. A big play that time for the Titans. 59 yards. And what a letdown after a huge play. He's going to pull this in and then set sail for the end zone. And he nearly made it, too. But he's going to be tracked down just short of the goal line. So a big play there that's going to set him up with first and goal at the one-yard line. Here we go now on first and goal. Pollard. No signal, and now they say he did not get in. He is stonewalled at the one. No gain on the play, and it's going to be second and goal. They're right there at the one. No gain, but don't let that stop you. Line back up and keep going at them. If I'm them, I'm thinking about going at it four straight times. Levis back to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. This Colts D up to the challenge so far, but they need another stop here on third and goal. Now here's Pollard. And he will take this one in for a Titans touchdown. Tony Pollard punching it in from a yard away. And the Titans post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Well, he's been the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with a touchdown run. Nick Folk for the point after. And this is good. Our score, 7-0 Tennessee. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And the returner down to a knee, and this will come out to the 30-yard line. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. Taylor to begin the drive and he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line credit the tackle for loss to Harold Landry I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football especially on the early downs they just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet Now they'll come up on second and 12. 
Richardson looking to throw this. That's caught. It's Josh Downs. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 18 yards on his first catch of the game. It's a first down. Nothing flashy there. The slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys, because it's a quick play. And you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch. And then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. First and 10, it's Richardson. And he's got Pierce. And he's got some space here. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Richardson working from the gun. Delivers another one to Pierce. And they move this all the way down to the nine. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And these two hooked up on a nice game to play before, and I always admire play callers that see a play that works and go right back to it, so they went right back to him. The reward, they're set up with first and goal. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Here Richardson yet again. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Not sure what happened there, but he just didn't get the right read on the coverage that time. Pass wasn't where it needed to be, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. On the draw is Taylor. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. Three tight ends up front here, third and goal. Taylor. And he won't get to the marker as they're going to stop him for a second straight play right at the line of scrimmage. Gay now gets ready for the field goal try. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. Gay's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. After the made field goal, Gay back out there to kick it off. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Titans going to go back on offense here late in this first half. 
And with a 7-3 lead, we'll see how aggressive they want to be. First and ten, it's Levis. He finds his man, Pollard. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Levis. That finds the former Jaguar, Calvin Ridley. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Nice grab there by Ridley, who made the move to Tennessee this offseason after recording over 1,000 yards and eight touchdowns in his lone season as a Jacksonville Jaguar. And now that the rust of the previous couple of years has worn off, the Titans, they're certainly hoping he can take it a step further in 2024 in Nashville. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Levis to throw it. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Now a second and ten. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. It'll be a gain of three on what should be the final play of this first half. So we've reached intermission here in a low-scoring game. 7-3 is our score. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome, everyone, to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a strong first half for running back Tony Pollard. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point, and you gotta expect we'll see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way, let's get it right back out to Brandon Guy. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. getting the football first and they trail here as we are back underway in quarter number three now couldn't take the chance this will be returned from the goal line and a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30 yard line out come the Colts they'll have it first here to start quarter number three well, out of the locker rooms, here they come. Their first drive of the third quarter, and Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, but we got a tight one and set up to be a very entertaining second half. And as we know, partner, in the NFL, there's trailing and there's trailing, right? Sometimes you're discouraged by how much you're down, but in this case, this is a tight ball game, so there's a sense of optimism here. I think they went into half and looked at their play sheet and said, these are the plays we really like. 
What do you say we use them to start the second half and get us going? A carry by Taylor to start the drive. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. Again, it's Taylor. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. That's now consecutive five-yard carries to pick up the first down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. First and 10, here's Richardson with it. This will be taken in by Michael Pittman. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. From just shy of midfield, here's second and a yard. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. They'll try the left side with Taylor, and he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. So from the 37, here's second down and five. Now this one complete on the slant route. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 22-yard line. That one for Indianapolis resulting in 15 yards and a fresh set of downs. Oh, that's a nice job of clearing space in the middle of the field for your tight end. He's going to start behind the line and run an angle route, hoping to kind of get lost in the middle of the field. And this is put right on him, and he's able to pick up a first down. First and 10, Taylor now. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. His throw incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. Now it's Richardson. And he's got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown. Mo Alley Cox, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Colts have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Matt Gay on for the extra point. And 
it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. That time, a nine-play drive, and it culminates in an Indianapolis touchdown. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Titans offense gears up for their first possession of the second half. to throw on first and ten here. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. From the 34-yard line, here's second and two. Give to Pollard, running left. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 42 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. They held him in check in the first half, but that's his longest carry of the game right there. So would this be the definition of fresh legs since he didn't get much done in the first half? Now he has a great opportunity. He's taking full advantage of it. To back good plays have them on the move on first down. Levis from the gun looking for Hopkins and he's got him on the crossing route. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch and it's second down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Levis looking to throw. And he gets this one to Ridley complete. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Here now, third and a yard. Trying to run for it with Pollard. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Nashville. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. Now the Colts offense gets ready to head back on the field. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead.
They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 12-yard line. It was Jamal Adams up from his safety spot to make the play behind the line. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And a short three-yard pickup gets him up to the 15. So it's the big left tackle who gets tagged with a hold. And sometimes you're actually executing the block well, and he starts to slip off of you. And instinctively, you reach out and grab him. And when it's done like that, it's often seen by the official and called. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And this Tennessee defense for the second straight play gets him behind the line. They're not messing around. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. And this is why the head coach gets paid the big bucks. Look at where they are in this situation, partner. Do you throw the ball here in a long-distance situation? Do you run it again and trust your defense and make sure you take care of the ball and punt it away? What kind of options do you have here, and what do you trust more on your team? Yeah, they may have just pushed him back into that throwing situation. We'll see. The Colts on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and 17. Richardson. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. As Sanchez on to punt here as he sends this one away. Call that a 41-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Titans are going to start this drive in great field position as they take over first and 10. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. On first down, Levis. A throw for Boyd, but it's intercepted. And the Colts are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. Scoring has really been at a premium. And, Charles, you got to tip your cap to this defense coming in here. Their offense, too, but this whole team coming in here on the road, getting a hard-fought win. I think the way that they're finishing this one up, an exclamation point on a terrific game. As you noted, hard for them to put points on the board, and they hold them down one more time and finalize things. Starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 38. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Meanwhile, Richardson's throw into the hands of Pittman here. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four.
Yeah, Richardson back to throw it. And yeah, that is incomplete. He already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he's on to punt for Indianapolis. that time on the punt and it'll be Titan football and here comes Tennessee as they get sent to take the field their defense has done the job now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten Take off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Pass to Tony Pollard out of the backfield. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out. And by a few inches, that'll be a first down. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there. And for the offense, they're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. So five yards here, five on the play, and it's second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. From the 35, here's a second and five. Now Levis. He completes it to Ridley. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The Titans efficient passing on this drive. There's another first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Back to throw, it's Levis. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. They'll try again here, second and ten. Levis out of the shotgun now. Throw here, take it in by Wiley, the tight end. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They face a critical third down now, needing a score here in the late going. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. But they got the yardage they needed there. Picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have as well as the understand where they are on the field? Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Levis. And oh, that one nearly intercepted. That would have sealed it. Instead, it'll be second down. 
Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts' 20-yard line. And now all of a sudden, the shoe's kind of on the other foot. Maybe you pull the reins back here a bit? Yeah, a little bit because you got to make sure that you don't score too quickly. They'll come up first and 10 here. Levis to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Ball resting on the 20. This is second and 10. Levis, he'll look to throw it. Over the middle, that's caught by Ridley. And the Titans are going to have a first and goal. It's a tackle made at the 10-yard line. And they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Here's first and goal. Here's Levis. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. Charles, what a big drive late in the fourth quarter to take this lead. And normally you're really excited if your offense has the ball late in the game. But I think this crew is really excited to have their defense go back out there because they haven't surrendered a point in the fourth quarter yet. They've helped make this comeback possible with their defensive play. Now they get a chance to finish this game off. for the extra point is Folk. And that makes it 14-10. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it's capped off by the late touchdown that puts him out in front here in the final minute of the contest. It goes. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. So Richardson and the Colts now down 14-10, 54 seconds to go. They need a touchdown. A field goal is worthless now as they come up on first and 10. Richardson. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. The corner blitz pays off there as they sack him for a loss of five. Brandon, you got to have some urgency here. You got to get the guys back to the line of scrimmage, but the problem is all 30 yards downfield after that play. Well, they'll come up now. This is second and long. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Back-to-back -back big plays defensively. First the sack, now they force the incompletion. On third and long, things looking pretty good for them. And this is where they have to be careful, because they've got the momentum going their way. They will be really amped up to get to the quarterback. Look out, draw, screen, something that could be used against them. Richardson to throw it. He's going to let it fly. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Well, you were at the point where you had to 
will take the shot no matter the down. Now it's fourth down coming up, but that may turn out to be irrelevant with how little time is remaining. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. Fourth down, desperation time. Here's Richardson. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And now possession's going to go over with a football at the 20-yard line. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. So now with six seconds remaining, we get a timeout on the field. Here's a second and eight. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. The Titans go victory formation as they take an A. So this one, a Tennessee Titan victory, and they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Titans are winners here as we say so long from Nashville.